Olama is in trouble because Lama.cpp has now got its own world-class user-friendly web user interface which can be run by even non-technical users. So much so that before when people would ask me that how should they start in running the models locally, I would normally suggest go with Olama. But now I would highly suggest to go with Lama.cpp with this web user interface where you can simply load the model and start chatting with it. Not only that, but you can even chat with your own text, which means you can do a built-in rag. Or in other words, you can chat with your own data. You can not only chat with text-based models, but also with images and PDF files. In this video, we are going to install this new feature or new web UI of Llama.cpp locally. And I will show you all the steps in very simple way. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. So let's get started. First, let me explain what is Llama.cpp, what exactly is this new web UI, and then we will start the installation. Llama.cpp is a free open source project that enables you to run models on your own hardware with excellent performance and efficiency. You can use it with CPU and you can use it with GPU. I have also done heaps of videos on Llama.cpp on the channel if you're interested. Now what they have done, they have just released this Svelte Kit based web UI, which is Llama.cpp's modern web interface that provides a complete chat experience in your own browser. So I am going to use this Ubuntu system and my GPU card is NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. But you can get this thing installed on Windows or Mac or any flavor of Linux and you don't even need a GPU. Okay, so now let's get started. The package manager which I'm going to use with this is Nix. If you don't know what Nix is, Nix is a cross-platform package manager for Linux and Mac OS that installs software in isolation. So you can see that it is not installed on my system. So I'm just going to install it with this command. It is going to download it and install it. And the next is installed. Let me source it in my environment. And the next is installed. Let's now install llama.cpp package. And the llama.cpp is installed. Next up, let's kick off our web UI by simply running this command with llama.server. And we are specifying the model you can change your model as per your choice this is a local host and the port is 8033 and the first time when you run this it downloads a model and the model is downloaded server is started as you can see everything is loaded and llama.cpp also prints out all of this data Let's go to our browser and access our localhost at port 8033. And there you go, the web UI of llama.cpp is running. This is the model which is loaded. And this is the context length of this model, which simply means that this is the amount of data it can focus on at one point in time. And then you can just start chatting with it that you can just ask it whatever you like. That really doesn't matter. Sorry, my fingers are not that well today. So there you go. So it is processing. And you can see that it is all running on CPU, the big model, and that is why it is taking a bit of a time. And it has come back with the response. Also, as I said, if your model supports PDF files and images, you can also upload them and then start talking with those. And not only that, it also shows you the reasoning. So you can see that for my simple prompt, it has reasoned like this. Of course, if it, that is a reasoning model. Let me quickly upload a very small text file. So for that, I'm just going to select one file from my local system. And I'm just going to go with maybe a very small file. This is just a text file. And 
this is what it looks like just one paragraph and then you can chat with it like what is the title of ebook and it is going to process it and give the results back to you and you can see that you can create new chat such a conversation so very minimalistic sort of interface but i think really really good for the starters and there you go it is giving you the result which is correct it is moby dick or the whale which is the title of the ebook and you can check out the reasoning too now if you look at the top right there is also a setting tabs also this is a very new and evolving feature so there might be some breaking changes for example if you go to general you can set uh, it as api key so that you could talk with it uh, through your api calls you can set some of the hyper parameters and then some reasoning stuff that you want to show it the thought process in because right now it is not showing i had to click it and then you can do the um, export of your conversation or chat and then there are few developer features and you can always revert back to the default by clicking on it another interesting feature here is that you can simply type the question in the url something like that where i have given it the local host 8033 and then what is ai is the question so let's run this it is going to open it kick and it is kicking off that model and giving you the result back and there you go it is giving you the answer in a proper tabular format and not only that it also displays the code very nicely in line all the html so in a proper markdown uh, very very nicely presented way you see so i just asked it to give me a hello world python program it has reason and this is how it presents it very nicely and this is where i have just asked it to render me a small html page saying hello in red color and this is where it is producing that html in a very nicely presented way and then you can cancel it any time and this is how you can talk with your images just upload the image and talk with it it's as simple as that and as i said you can also use it with your pdf files so i think they have done a very very good job and for me it's really um, a right balance or blend of functionality simple user experience and performance so let me know what do you think about this new feature check it out please like the video and subscribe to the channel and more importantly please please become a member as that helps a lot Thank you for all of your support.